Have you seen the blue crystal waters of the Caribbean Sea? It is one of our most precious natural resources and home for exotic species. In recent years, air and water pollution are a big threat to our island environment. And that is why, after hearing Mr. Sandro Suti talking about the microplastics protocol at the Globe Annual Meeting, that we didn't hesitate to participate and take action to get the data that we need to show the Dominican authorities that we need to act now and protect our side of the island. Teachers were trained on the microplastics protocol by scientist Alexandra Suti and Stuart Robotham from Deakin University, Australia. Students then instructed our high school students at Notre Dame School on the use of the new equipment and how to identify and measure microplastics under the microscope. Afterwards, students started to find topics for their science projects, using microplastics as a central theme to create awareness in their community and give possible solutions to local problems. Projects presented included microplastics in your coffee, which toothpaste brand has the least microplastics, microplastics in Punta Cana, Cabarete, and Rivia Beaches, can Sargassum filter microplastics, and microplastics in the Isabella and Ozama rivers. Microplastics are an ongoing problem in the Dominican Republic. Here at Notre Dame School, we have been able to identify hundreds of microplastics in different areas of our island. Rivia Beach, even by Aiden. So here at the school, we have been able to identify, thanks to the scientific method and the science fair, which stimulates students to do their best. Mr. René Mateo, Vice Minister in Soil and Water from the Ministry of Environment, attended the science fair and received the data collected for the first time in Dominican Republic, measured with an international scientific protocol. A local newspaper with the widest coverage spread the news about microplastics nationally. The two best projects were presented to Latin American countries at the Globe LAC Virtual Science Fair on May 31st, 2023, creating additional momentum for the topic, especially for the local authorities. And then the fantastic news arrived. The Senate of the Dominican Republic approved on the 6th day of June 2023 in the second reading a law that will require, among other measures, that importing companies or manufacturers of plastics use a biodegradability certificate, which must be issued by a laboratory accredited in the corresponding standard. Our enthusiastic students' voices and work with the help of their teachers, positively impacted the lives of Dominican citizens and cooperated with the global community to build a better planet.